Hello everyone, we are going to present the new kit wicket extraction unit. First, we have to locate the parts that make up this unit. <laughs> the glass liquid liquid extraction column uh, is fit with enlarged end sections, which are closed by stainless steel plates. The column is is filled with rushing rings which are supported on a perforated stainless steel plate. Wherefore, the column is stored in the supply tank over there, <laughs> from where it is pumped by the centrifugal pump um, through an air bleed valve, a flow, con a flow control valve. Uh, water leaves to the top of the column through a pipe and is collected in a polluted Pump solvent enters to the top of the column uh, via injector similar that fit at the base for the work. Solvent from the base of the column is returned under gravity to the receiver vessel uh, via pipeline, which is also fit with a solenoid valve. The following procedure is intended for initially checking that the equipment is operating correctly. Close all valves on the equipment, including drain valves. Check longest and middle electrodes at top of extraction column and shortest and middle electrodes at bottom of column are approximately 5 mm apart. Adjust if necessary. Fill tank L2 with tap water. Connect the equipment to the electrical supply. Set electrode switch to top position. Operate main switch 1, check switch 3, 4 and 5 are off and switch 1 is illuminated. Check solenoid valve C3 in, is open. Set the electrode switch to bottom position then check that solenoid valve C3 is still open. Open vent valve V3 then switch on water pump. Allow water pump to prime. Then close vent valve V3. Open control valve C1. Check flow of water on flow meter F1. Check water is delivered to injector at base of extraction column. Allow column to start filling with water at a slow rate. The solenoid valve C3 will be open until water covers the short electrode when C3 will close. Open the drain valve at the base of the extraction column and drain water until the tip of the short electrode is, ex is ex exposed and the valve will again open. <laughs> close drain valve is the base of column. Open control valve C1 and add use to heat full scale reading and flow meter F1. C3 will close again when the water level reaches the short electrode, yeah. the, then the column will gradually fill. Lift the electrode switch in the down position. Check C3 is still closed. Wait for water level to reach the top plate. For example, when the column is completely full, make sure water flows from the top of the column to the polytene storage tank. Switch S2 to top electrode position. Check C3 remains closed. Close the flow mirror control valve C uh, C1. Open the dry valve B11 at the base of the column and allow water to drain until the water level falls below the long electrode. Check valve C3 opens. Water will drain into tank L3 until level in column equals level in tank L3. Check pip work and column for leaks. Switch of weather pump. Drain all remaining weather from column through drain valve B11 in base of column. Fill vessel L3 with tap weather through top filer. Check side gauge on L3 operates. 
check pip work and column for leaks. Switch of weather pump. Drain all remaining weather from column through drain valve B11 in base of column. Fill vessel L3 with top weather through top filer. Check side gauge on L3 operates. Fill vessel L3 with top weather through top filer. Check side gauge on L3 operates. Half fill vessel L4 with top weather through top filer. Check side gauge on L4 operates. Open valve P7. Allow boiler L6 to one third fill with water. Close valve V7. Check side gauge on L6 operate. Open valve V4. Allow vessel L5 to fill with water. Allow L3 to drain. Close valve V4. Check side gauge on L5 operate. Set calibration valve V8 to the column position. Open sample valve V13 at the solvent pump discharge and place a suitable container beneath the valve to allow the water which will discharge to be cold. Switch on the solvent pump, then with the pump running on a screw, the clamp and center stroke adjuster to 100%, then tighten the clamp screw. Set power control R1 to minim minimum. Switch on heating elements, rotate power control R1 to maximum, check temperature of water increases, check boiler for leaks, allow water to boil, when condensate collects in reflux divide open control valve C2, check water flows from reflux divider to vessel L4. Set power control R1 to minimum, then drain the boiler by opening valve B10. When the level falls below the level switch power should be disconnected, switch off the boiler. Disconnect the electrical supply, turn off cooling water and drain all water from the equipment. Uh, this is the way that the column operates. Uh, thank you for watching our video.